You know, boarding is an art, and it's not just about getting on the enemy's ship, it's about how you got on the enemy's ship. What if I told you, ladders are overweighted, they trigger multiple factors like mermaids, sharks, and so on. Not to forget the splashing sound some pirates produce that resembles a puppy taking a bath, which would alert the other crew and interrupt your visit. I like to think of boarding as creative arts. You can perform multiple tricks, whether it's sealing supplies, setting the ship on fire, help them sell, and so on. To make all this possible, all you need to do is get on the enemy's territory. But there's always one major problem. Rude pirates do not allow you on their ship. You know why? Because you told them you are coming by using the ladder. Even though you have several other options, like cannons, harpoons, rowboats, and masts. During my streams, I have been receiving positive feedback about my boarding. In this guide, I will show you how to optimize your boarding skills to take advantage of every boarding attempt depending on the vessel type, location, and scenario. But before we head to that, I would like to share a fun fact. Actually, it's not fun. It's very, very sad. Fortunately, my channel has been growing with an average of 2,500 subscribers per month, which is an amazing growth that I'm very thankful for. But, while looking at analytics, YouTube tells me that only 16% of my views are subscribers, which means there is lots of room for improvement. So, if you are new here and find my content helpful, consider subscribing, as this will make my day and get me a step closer to full-time content creation. Rare added a discrete change to the game within the recent few updates, which is curved pirates. By that, I mean pirates used to launch out of the cannon in a perfectly straight arch from a moving ship. But within the second half of 2019, I started noticing that pirates curve upon launch to the left and the right, depending on the movement of the ship. This is similar to the techniques I have shown in my curved cannonballs video. If you haven't seen that, please give it a watch, as it will help you in what I'm going to demonstrate at the end of this video. Let's cover the different ways that you can board a ship that the enemy usually never expects. Keep in mind, nothing of this is a rule of thumb, as without practice, none of this will work. I will start with the simple ones. Rowboats were introduced during the Forsaken Shores update. Rowboats added two ways to board a ship. One, you can approach a ship that does not have a rowboat docked, and upon getting closer, dock the rowboat and proceed to ruin their day. 2. Only on brigantines and sloops, you can use the height of the waves to climb onto a docked rowboat on a ship. Sometimes waves push you so high that you can climb on the rowboat. In galleons, rowboats are set at a height that waves usually do not reach. Harpoons Yep, you can board a ship using a harpoon. And I'm not talking about getting harpooned by another player. Actually, similar to the rowboat, and again, only works on brigantines and sloops. Wait until waves are high enough, then as soon as the use harpoon option appears, you will find yourself happily on their top deck. I have personally changed the course of many battles using this technique, and it is one of my favorites. Masts and beams. What if you are being chased? Sometimes slowing down is a good thing to stop the enemy, as the crew tailing you is usually guarding the ladders and does not let anyone board. You can use that to your advantage and board in two ways, depending on the vessel you are on. First, angle your beam parallel to your ship and use that height to jump or sword lunge. But make sure you go up there before they can see you and hide so you won't get sniped. Second, if you are on a galleon, you can use the laundry hanger in the back to board the other ship from their bowsprit. Keep in mind, running and jumping are usually preferred, as the sword lunge will get you in stun mode after landing, which makes you an easy target. I dropped the anchor. Cannons. I know most of you board ships by using cannons, but how can you achieve the perfect cannon aim so you can increase your chances of landing on their top deck? My curved cannonballs video that I mentioned earlier shows how you can get a perfect aim on damaging other ships. You'll need to practice that so you can achieve what I'm going to demonstrate. Players are heavier than cannonballs, as the player will always have a shorter range than a cannonball within the same aim. There are a few things to consider before launching. The direction you are heading and the direction other ship is taking. Now, after getting the curve aim right, we need the right height. Damn, that was a perfect rhyme. So, a player being heavier, set your cannon aim as if launching a cannonball. Then, you can board in two ways. 
If you want to land on the top deck, you will need to slightly raise the cannon, then go for the board to compensate the player weight and land like a cannonball. If you want to glide towards the ladder and board, then slightly drop the cannon depending on the ship's distance. This will cause you to land in the water and do a slight curve until you reach the ladder. If you try and board with the same angle of a cannonball, it won't work, as you will land at a steep angle close to the ship, which will cause you to go straight under the hull and appear from the other side far from the ladder. In conclusion, at all times keep your aim at the lower prediction. This will increase your chances of successful boarding as even if you do not reach, you can always swim the rest of the path. But if you are higher and fly over the ship to the other side, you will look silly and there is no way to board a moving ship. So lower aim equals higher success. If the ship is facing your cannon, try and aim for the mast, as if you did not know, you cannot grab ladders after a sword launch, but you can do that if you are launching from a cannon or jumping from a high place. Aiming for masts will cause you to bounce down to the top deck if executed properly. I am by no means claiming myself as a top boarder, but just sharing the ways I do it based on your requests. And with that, I hope this video makes you the top boarder. If you found it helpful, join the subscribers hideout and help my channel grow. Fuzzy here, thank you for watching and happy boarding. Someone needs to be on your wheel, guys. Please. I'm proud of us.